All right, guys, today we're going to work on is multiplying decimals. And this is going to be uh, the box method, it's also known as expanded form. The way this is going to work is we're going to multiply two numbers. So uh, let's say I do 46 times um, 2 and 3 ticks. What we're going to do is the expanded form of both numbers. So for 46, what would that break down to if I told you to expand the form? 40 plus 6. What about 2 and 3 tenths? What's the value of the 2? What's the value of the 3? 3 tenths. So it's going to be 2 plus 3 tenths. Alright. Once you have that, we're going to create a box. We'll tend to have the bigger numbers closer here, so that's why that box is a little bit bigger on this side. What you're going to do is take your two expanded numbers and you're going to spread them out on the box. One's going to go on top, one's going to go on side. It doesn't matter which one you put where. We're going to put the first one on top. 40 plus 6. Then for our second one, we're going to do 2 plus 3 ten. Now all we're going to do is we're going to multiply and put the product in each box. This will be box number one. We're going to multiply 40 times 2. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, and drop your 0 down, so you should get 80. Then we're going to cross to box number 2. We're going to do 6 times 2. 6 times 2 gives me 12. Well, that goes with the second box. <coughs> box number 3. I'm going to multiply 40 times 3 tenths. Now, this is where we're going to use that skill we learned last week. 4 times 3 is 12. 12. 12. And then we're just going to drop that 0 down. We're, we multiply it like the decimal's not there, and then we go back and put the decimal in. How many numbers are behind the decimal? One. 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 So put one number behind the decimal. Your answer is 12. Then for the fourth box, we're going to multiply 6 times 3 tenths. Again, for sure that the decimal is not there. What is 6 times 3? 18. 18. And then we go back and place the decimal so that there is one number behind the decimal. So that would give you 1 and 8 tenths. Final step. Once you have all four products, we're simply just going to add them together. So we're going to take our four answers, our four products, and add them up. The most important thing is that you line them up correctly. This right here is 12 decimal zero. It is not 120, so it should be lined up appropriately. And if you want to put your decimals at the end of your whole numbers, that may help you. And our last box was 1 and 8 tenths. Do not put the 1 underneath the 1 and the 8 underneath the 2. Your 1's places have to be lined up and your 10's places have to be lined up. So it should be 1 and 8 tenths. Now we're ready to add. You can fill in your empty spaces with a 0. This gives you 8. 2 plus 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. And 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. And bring your decimal straight down. The final product. It's 105 and 8 tenths.